friends, it's Friday and as soon as work was over today, I got in my car and I went to some thrift stores because I have a weekend project in mind. When we started doing this basement suite, I did not make a conscious goal to buy everything thrifted, but I have bought so much thrifted stuff for this future Airbnb that now I am just going to try to make it a goal that I get everything secondhand or just to give myself a challenge as if renovating this thing was not a big enough challenge. <laughs> so most of what you're going to see in this bathroom is going to be thrifted. Now I am going to buy like new towels. <laughs> I do not think our Airbnb guests want to be using thrifted towels. So the stuff I'm going to show you is all decor and the design I'm going with for this bathroom. For the most part, it's going to be, I want it to be like an old English, eclectic, but classic type feel. So I'll just hop right in and show you what I got. And then over the weekend, I'll be showing you how I put it all together. Something that is so important to do when you set out to thrift a room is to measure before you leave and then take notes. That way you can check stuff off as you find it and you can reference your measurements really quickly. This list is like a mile long and I thought, well, I probably won't find most of this, but I did find quite a bit and stuff that I did not expect to find. For example, one thing I have on here is a toilet paper holder. I thought, well, I'll just put it on there because I'll probably end up buying one. No, no. Look at this. I realize this might gross some people out <laughs> to buy a used toilet paper holder, but I'm obviously going to clean it. You can see the bottom's kind of dirty. It is heavy. These things are expensive kind of expensive for what they are. Um, I'm going to use some gold spray paint to fix it up after I clean it. It's fine. These things are like $25 and I got it for a dollar and it's not going into the landfill. So I'm good with that. Something I had on the list were some cool uh, storage things. I got these little antique glasses. I don't know what was originally in them, but I'm going to use them as uh, toothbrush holders and then I just got a little basket and this tray is it was a little pricey it was $4.99 but it is silver and I just thought it was a really neat and heavy soap holder and I got this mallard it's a painted duck I don't really it serves no function obviously <laughs> so you might think I'm a quack for buying this <laughs> but it has an old English feel. I think this is going to be very interesting in a bathroom. It's kind of like water, duck, interesting conversation piece. It'll be cool. I picked up some wooden candlesticks. I always get brass and wooden candlesticks when I find them. I don't know if I end up using them in here, but I thought they were a good purchase at a dollar each. I also picked up a little artificial plant for a dollar. Okay, I absolutely love this door knocker that I picked up. I got this at a little antique store, um, but they were having a half price sale, so I got it for like $2. It is solid brass, and it has somebody else's name sketched on it, which you know it's fancy if it has that. It was made in Spain. But look at their last name. I think this is hilarious for a bathroom. It says Pride. Pride, <laughs> Pride is their last name. And so but I just think this is hilarious. It makes me giggle. Like have some pride and shut the door while you're using the bathroom. <laughs> and lastly, I got a painting a vintage painting for 10 bucks that i think is really going to go with the shower curtain that i picked out but it was ten dollars and i think it has that really cool vintage feel to it and so we'll see how it looks i also actually got a backup painting and that one was twenty dollars but i think this one's going to go better because here's the shower curtain let's just see what we think and I thought I'm gonna break away from all white everything 
And so I really went out on a limb here. Ooh, it's looking good so far though. It kind of matches what I've got going on here today. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm liking this. I'm gonna hang this up right now. Now you see her? Now you don't. Here was the other painting I got. It was $20, but when I put it up against the shower curtain, which I really, really love, by the way, I think that my original selection, the $10 one, is the best fit for that. All right, we are going to build some shelves for above the toilet. They'll go right here. This is a really cheap and easy way to build. This cost to $12.50. Yeah, this is just pond board. They'll cut it for you at Lowe's if you ask them, but you just cut it yourself out there, didn't you? I did. We got some brackets that I spray painted. So this is gonna be like probably around seven or eight dollars per shelf. What happened, babe? Well, I flipped the whole can over. And it's like, this is just, that's why you make preparations when you're clumsy. <laughs> to just go ahead and get ready for it. <laughs> and this is coming out awfully, awfully dark. I don't know if this is... It'll be all right. Yeah, I think this will dry fine. I'm notorious for stealing. <laughs> I'm notorious for spilling stain. <laughs> I'm notorious for stealing, stealing, stealing Spain. <laughs> I want to go to Spain this year for your birthday. I would love to spend my 40th birthday on like... Man, this might look pretty good. Does that work? How are you gonna get that off your hands? Uh, without gloves, you really feel the soul of the wood. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not that okay. That's crazy. Okay, it's bright and early the next morning and I'm going to be cleaning on the bathroom and Aaron is going to be putting up the shelves behind the toilet and then I'll get to start adding all the pretty stuff that I bought. like a tour of the newly thrifted bathroom I put on my same shirt because I wanted to make it look like in those HGTV shows where I got all this done in just a couple of hours <laughs> I'm really happy with how the bathroom turned out it has such a fresh and clean feeling to it but also a vintage vibe which is what I was going for it's not like too new or too perfect and I just think it has a lot of charm and will photograph well for our Airbnb. This bathroom is such a far cry from where it started. I'll just give you a little glimpse here. There was mold everywhere. It was smaller. We actually widened it about two feet so that we could fit two sinks here instead of just pedestal stink that was here before. But the reason I bring that up now is because I don't want people to fuss at me for painting this wall white. I have not painted any of the other 
rocks in this basement but this was already painted red so i covered up the red with the white and i just think that looks awesome to sign off I'm just standing here in between these beautiful roses and these beautiful roses and the roses on my robe to tell you goodbye and I hope that you think this bathroom refresh is coming up roses <laughs> see you next week bye